Hey everyone, awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Edge of Science Lab. Bubblegum is delicious, but do you guys ever wonder how it's made? Well, we'll be able to find out with this Bubblegum Science playset. Alright, so the back of the box pretty much shows all the ingredients we get, and let's open up the box to check it out. Okay, here's the instructions. Whoa, this thing's heavy! I think this is everything else. This is actually a pretty thick instructions guide. Let's see what's in here. We get two packets of gum pellets. This is the corn syrup. Ooh, gooey. Here's the citric acid to make sour gumballs. This is the watermelon flavor. Uh, it's upside down. The mint flavor. Turn this around. The blueberry flavor. And this is the powdered sugar. Let's see. I'll go with the juicy watermelon. We'll need one tablespoon of gum base, one teaspoon of corn syrup, half a teaspoon of watermelon flavor, and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Sounds pretty simple to me. <laughs> eh, that looks like a tablespoon. Now we cover it up with some water. Once we do that, put this in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds. Be careful, the cup might be hot, but pour the water into another cup. Be sure you don't pour out any of the gum base. Now we give it a stir. While I stir, you guys want to know a fun fact? Chewing sugar-free gum can keep your mouth clean. It also lessens the risk of cavities and whitens the teeth by reducing the stains. Pretty interesting, right? For this part, just stir it until it gets soft. Now we need to add a teaspoon of corn syrup. I don't know why, but this looks pretty cool. If you guys don't have measuring tools, you could just eyeball it like me. Give it another mix. If it gets too hard to stir, you could put it back in the microwave for about 5 to 10 seconds. I think that's pretty good. Time for the food coloring. We'll need red since it's watermelon. Stir it again. Whoa! This doesn't look too appetizing. I feel like you'd see this in a horror movie or something. Don't worry guys, I promise it'll get better. Now we add some watermelon powder. Mmm! This smells really good! And then we need two tablespoons of powdered sugar. But we only need one for now. Now we mix this until it becomes stiff. Ooh, it's starting to look like bubblegum. Ah, come on out. It's just sticking inside the cup. Out you go. <laughs> this bubblegum doesn't want to leave. There we go. Now we pour the other tablespoon of powdered sugar. Start to knead the bubblegum like you knead bread dough. This is pretty cool. I feel like a real scientist right now. If you feel like your gum needs to be sweeter or more sour, you can add more powdered sugar or citric acid. Ooh, check this out when I stretch it. It's like taffy. I'll get some more powder off my plate. You can't go wrong with sweeter bubblegum. 
the more you need the gum, the better it'll be. Yum! Time to make another one! This'll be Berry Blueberry. Pour the water out into another cup. Give it a stir. You guys want to know another fun fact? Gum chewing can aid concentration and provide relief from life's little stresses. So if you're ever stressed, try chewing a piece of gum. It just might work. Stir this until it's soft. Add the blue food coloring. Whoa, this one's really sticky. It's like a spider web. Mmm! This blueberry powder smells really good too. There's the sugar. Now we mix this until it's stiff. Ah, gotta make sure I get everything in there. Ooh, check this out. Add the rest of the powdered sugar. And we need the bubblegum. I know I said I feel like a scientist, but I also feel like a bubblegum baker. I like stretching the bubblegum. Keep on kneading. Which flavor do you think you guys will like better? Watermelon or blueberry? I'm gonna go with the watermelon. So the best way to finish it up is to roll it into a long cylinder, cut it into little pieces, then roll them into gumballs. And voila! We got ourselves a blueberry gumball. It's time for me to chew away. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.